morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Brianna McLean. A state lawmaker says that she is looking into a lucrative state contract for a company that is providing free video terminals in every state prison so inmates can go virtual with their loved ones. But as our Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik discovered, the company is making a bundle and the state is not sharing in the profits. Under the old system, if Michigan inmates wanted to talk to their families or friends, it had to be done in person. But with all this modern technology around us, the Corrections Department hired Global Tech Link, GTL, to provide eight video terminals in all 25 of the state prisons and 16 terminals in the female prison. And the company offered to install the equipment at no cost to the state, obviously a savings for state taxpayers. But in return for the freebie, the company gets all of the profits from the calls at the rate of 16 cents a minute. And check this out. On October 4th, prison inmates logged 482,212 minutes of conversations, netting the company a cool $77,000. And the state got Zippo. If they're charging that much for phone calls per minute, you know, I feel like there should be maybe some sort of value to the state as well for that service to be in there for that much of a profit. That's Representative Sarah Leitner of Springport who sits on the Corrections Budget Subcommittee in the House. She was unaware of the contract and she promises to look into the contract so that state taxpayers could see fewer of their dollars going into the prison system and more dollars from the company profits. Why why are we spending almost two billion dollars in general fund dollars when you know they could share part of that and offset some of those costs and therefore you know showing value to our taxpayers for that service if you could you would like to reopen that contract and get in it well I mean yeah if there's definitely going to be a savings for the people of Michigan representative Leitner promises to get back to us on what she finds out here if you in Lansing Tim Skubik in other news, the Great Lakes PFOS Action Network is calling on lawmakers to pass legislation to help people stand up to polluters and protect their health. The group's action agenda includes policies that would increase availability of PFOS testing, prohibit the sale of PFOS products for non-essential use, and hold polluters financially responsible. The network's co-chair says PFOS are in hundreds of Michiganders drinking water and now in their blood along with all of the Great Lakes. State Senator Winnie Brinks has introduced two bills to help victims of PFOS contaminations take legal action. Now for a check on your forecast with meteorologist Tom Kippen. Thanks a lot, Bree. For today, more clouds. Some rain showers can't be ruled out, especially the further east you go. Look for temperatures today in the 50s to around 60. Lake effect rain showers tonight through Saturday. Saturday's a fall-like feel with rain showers, lake effect kind, gusty winds, and cool temperatures, but a little bit milder for Sunday with more in the way of sunshine. For weather anytime, if you're on the go today or this weekend, download our free WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com or on Facebook as well at WJMN TV and our 906 Weather Watchers page.